Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today we are going to unbox Cooler Master GA271. Now this is a monitor by Cooler Master, a 27 inch gaming monitor. And uh, this is actually a 144, sorry, this is actually a 1440p a monitor running at maximum 100 hertz. Uh, it supports ND free scenes and it has three side borderless. And also blue light flicker free, low blue light flicker free. So uh, this is the cheapest 1440p monitor I can find, uh, which cost me around RM650. Then then it is that cheap because it's using the VR panel. Uh, it doesn't have adjustable height, and then it's only 100 hertz. But this is good enough because the games I play doesn't reach 100 hertz. Um, yeah, I'm hinting how your verse 2 games here, Genshin Impact and Hong Kai Star Rail. Well, without further ado, let's look around the box itself. So, so this comes with 3 years of warranty. Um, yeah, and then it supports display port, display port and the HDMI also has a uh, audio output. This is the energy level. Yeah, without further ado, let's unbox this. Yeah, so this is the stand itself. It's made of plastic, but it got some hair, and then there's the tube, adjustable tube. And this step here. all black and then this is the tube itself and then uh, let's take out the monitor gotta have to let this flat here Lift this up. Pretty nice packaging. Got some static. Yes, yeah, so I had to be a bit more careful. Oh, okay. It comes with the. Yeah, I think this is the. This is the HDMI cable. And uh, this is the power cable, but it's too. Two pin here, I hope they come with an adapter. Oh no! So they provide two types of wire. I guess this is for export market. This is for Malaysia. Two pin. And then the, this is the power adapter. So the power adapter is actually outside of the monitor itself. Cool. Then, uh, actually, only comes with. HDMI, I guess. No, no display port cable. Yeah, actually. Yeah, this is tap here. But I'm not using this anyway. But this is a HDMI. That is a set case. I mean, but given the price, then that's probably that's why they didn't provide the display port cable. This is the manual. I wonder if it says what's inside the box. Nope, it doesn't say. And then uh, this is the stand, very light here. So I guess if you put it on on this stand, it will not stand very well. But this is really light. Yeah, I'll try and put this on later. But it's toolless, which is good. And then uh, let me just yeah assemble this first. Yeah, this stand is very light though, honestly. And uh, to be honest, when I pick up the mo monitor itself, the box, the entire box, does feel light. So let's see how this. So let's see how this looks like. Plastic bodies. Okay. Let me 
just plug this in. It's very easy, so just need to slide this one in. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. I think so. Yeah, I don't know how to insert this though, actually. Let me do it this way. Oh, yeah. So it's very simple. Ooh, should have supported the top. And uh, the stand really doesn't look great. So I'll be using a monitor arm. So there's only tilt, no pivot, no height adjustable anything. And uh, let's peel this off. These are all the energy thing. Not sure how do we start. Mm -hmm. Wonder why do they have to do it this way? Oh well. So, just to recap, this is a BF panel, not the IPS panel. So you will have a better contrast, but in terms of response and the color accuracy, it might be slightly inferior than IPS. And also the viewing angle. And uh, if we look closely, there is really no bezel. It's really well hidden. But uh, we can only judge when we turn it on. And then the... So there's a Cooler Master logo here. And that's off in front. Nothing else. And then uh, what's on the back? So we have the Versa mount. 100mm times 100mm is the standard one and then we have a display port two HDMI the power cable here and then the audio out and then uh, the joint button to control the settings and the power button as well so let's power this on and see how it looks like so uh, yeah this is my Acer XV270 and this is how the color looks like and this is the BenQ GW2470 I believe and this is how the color looks like and both of these are IPS I did not clear it right down at all and uh, let's compare with the VA panel of Cooler Master GL271 so I have done setting it up and this is the Cooler Master GL271 and right beside it is still my old BenQ GW2470 I think now this is the IPS and this is the VR panel. So this is not calibrated at all. The same goes to this. And then uh, if you can see, I don't know if it's the panel type or because this is higher resolution because this is 1080p and then this is 1440p. But you can clearly see the lines here compared to this. I mean, this is fainter, but you can still see it. And mix, this one actually looks, make it look more no, annoying but uh, I can live with that so basically I'll change the wallpaper and then the, if you can see yeah, actually the bezel is actually thicker if, if you compare to my old GW 2470 so the bezel is around this thick like a uh, finger size finger tip but uh, this DG, GW is way thinner you know yeah and the same goes to the top and then the bottom so all three sides are a lot thicker and just the bottom here so I go and then there's a build ID here and then uh, let's see what setting you have here so we can go here set here so this is the settings here you can change your color volume yeah but then this speaker doesn't have um, any speaker so this is to support your audio out and then this gaming Adaptive Sync, FPS Counter, Motion Clearness and uh, Crossfire and stuff like that So you can see this 
at 1440p now at 100 hertz so this is as high as it can go then the LCD then the input and then the information so maybe if I just you know open something it doesn't yeah so uh, I'm in a browser now and then uh, it is a lot brighter now but this is darker but it could be because of the brightness yeah so yeah that's about it guys overall I think it looks the text definitely looks clearer um, but let's say if you like uh, scroll words I still don't see any difference the color it's nice I think but it's probably because of the brightness but if you scroll away you don't really see the you know the text screen out at least I don't see it myself so I guess this is upgrade and then the yeah that's about it oh and one more thing is I noticed the screen has become taller but that's probably because the VESA mount is lower here compared to my old uh, Acer XV270 where the VESA mount is around here at the center of the monitor so this whole thing looks taller now but uh, which is nice for me so I just need to adjust my chair because my chair actually can't go any lower anymore um, yeah that's about it guys and uh, this is how it looks like at night so if I close the room I think the color does look nicer but let me know if I'm wrong and then uh, there's something so the, the Google Muscle logo is gone here but if you turn on the light it actually I think it reflects the light so let me just turn on my light here yeah, so now you can see it now. So if I off the light again. Yeah, so something cool about it. Um, overall, I think I will like it and uh, I'll go into game and see how it feels. But overall, the purpose of me buying this monitor is just to record in 1440p natively because previously I could only go up to 1080p. And if you unlock that video, directly into YouTube uh, it runs with a lousier codec so this will allow me to post higher quality video and uh, with less processing time so yeah that's about it guys and then uh, overall I think I'm even though the build quality you know it's all plastic but uh, at least the mod panel feels good um, despite the thicker bezel I don't think I'll notice it in the long run and uh, yeah, that's about it guys. I, overall, I think it's worth it. So if you play games that's less than, you know, 100 hertz, uh, like the Genshin Impact and Honkai Star, which actually locks at 60 FPS, this is actually a quite nice panel. And for 650 ringgit, you can't get any other, you know, 1440p 27 inch monitor at that price anymore. Probably there's some brands from China, but as far as I am con know, um, yeah, Cooler Master is the one that's doing it now. And you know, because all the markets are doing, you know, 1440p for, at 165 hertz now, so I don't go up to 165 because I'm using RTX 3060, so I doubt that could go up to 165 hertz at 1440p. So I'm happy with this 100 hertz. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share the video if you found this useful. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye bye.